All right, he hello everyone. Um, today what we're going to do is kind of close off the, this undetermined coefficients uh, conversation that we've been having for the last several segments. So one last question, basically, be before we close off. Um, let me ask you a question. Is this going to be the easiest question of this uh, conversation we're having or hardest? You got it. It will be on the higher end. But okay, you know, it's, it's good to show these, right? So, but the approach doesn't change. So at the end of the day, I have myself a complementary solution and a particular solution. Complementary solution is obtained by the topics that we have discussed already. And I need to write the ancillary equation to this is equal to zero. You can go ahead and do minus b plus minus square root of, uh, right, that thing. Or, you know, I see that this is m minus two square. So you can see here that I get myself a double root of um, three, right? So then if I go ahead and write my yc part, I will get myself c1 e to the three x, right? Plus c2 x e to the three x. So that'll be my complementary solution. So let's go ahead and look at the form that the particular solution should be in, okay? So now, what I did was, when I started the higher, of, higher order conversations, look, look what I said. I said that there's something called superposition principle, right? So I will look at, you can see that this and this is a completely different two forms that I have to have, right? So what I will say is actually, I will go out and say this, yp will be equal to a x squared plus bx plus c plus like d to the e to the power of 3x, right? So you can see what I did here. So I did a superposition. I have this for that, right? And I have this for that. Note that most likely I will get a negative sign, but that's beyond scope. I expect you to write a positive sign over here and the mathematics will tell you what it should be, right? Um, it's not a mistake to have a negative, but I think you'll get confused uh, when you write the final answer. Sometimes I see that in the exams. Um, so am I good? That's a question I'm uh, posing to you right this moment. Am I, am I good to go? Um, no, I'm not actually. The reason is, we discussed this, they are in the same form. The complementary solution and the particular solution as a common term. So what I have to do is I have to multiply this by x. But if I seem to multiply by, uh, you know, n is equal to 1, so I get myself dx e to the 3x, then I have a problem with this one, right? So then I have to do the second, so I'll get dx squared e to the 3x, all right? x squared e to the 3x. Um, you know, multiplying these are fine from the technique, but remember when you take derivatives, now you're going to have a chain rule at your hand, so that will be a little bit more, uh, you know, involved mathematically speaking. So I will do just that, what just as I said. So let's go ahead and write my yp prime, because looking at this equation, you will see that I have this double prime and a single prime. So then I will start with yp prime. That will be 2ax plus b plus chain rule 2dx e to the 3x plus well 3dx squared e to the 3x right so far so good so i'll do one more step yp double prime well 2a that that was easy so let's look at this one 2d e to the 3x plus 6d, right, 3 times 2, x e to the 3x plus 6d, x e to the 3x plus 3 times 3 is 9, 9d, x squared e to the 3x. So let me write them a little bit more organized because I can write this way, 2a, and the rest of them is multiplied by e to the x, I see it, right, e to the 3x, sorry, I see it, e to the 3x. So then that will be, let's look at the x squared term, 9d x squared plus 6, 6, 12, right? 12d x plus, no, 2d. Let me double check everything accounted for, done, 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 yep, I'm good, okay. So then obviously what I will do is I'll go back to the original equation, let's change the color. Um, yp double prime minus 6yp prime plus 9yp was 6x squared plus 2 minus 12e to the 3x. Let me double check that. 
did I write it x6x x squared plus 2? Yeah, I'm good. Then I will go back. Let's keep this yp prime so I can write it. So let's go ahead and write this. So double. So basically, I'll just take this or this to here, right? 2a plus e to the 3x, 9dx squared plus 12dx plus 2d. Minus 6 times yp prime. yp prime is 2ax plus b plus 2dx e to the 3x plus 3dx squared e to the 3x, right? I simply copy paste from what I see. And then, you know, plus 9 times ax squared plus bx plus c plus dx squared e to the 3x, right? So now let me see what is going on over here. So there will be multiplication uh, cancellations. There must be, otherwise I did some mistakes. Right now, actually I can go out and do the superposition. What I mean by superposition is I can first treat with the 3e, 3e three e to the power of 3x, and I equate that to minus 12. Do you see? None of these will come into with e to the 3x. So then I can do ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to this. So I can do two separate approaches from the superposition. If you didn't quite uh, you know, understand why I do this, you may want to visit earlier videos that I did. Uh, it should be 3.2, uh, video 3.2. I explained this proposition principle. All right? So let's look at this e to the 3x. So let's look at this 9d. So 9d x squared as I have over here. And looking in here, I will have myself 18, right? Minus 18. So that was 9 minus 18. So minus 9. And plus 9, so these cancelled it there. Did you see that? This is plus 9, minus 18, plus 9. So that cancelled each other. But it should do, right? Because I'm looking over here, I don't see any term which has x squared e to the 3x. So if you've done, if you have not got 0, then you made a mistake somewhere. Just one highlight. And I'm going to go out and do the x. Now I should also get 0. If I don't, I made a mistake somewhere. Okay? Just want to highlight these things. So looking at the 12 dx, so let's say this is the x, and I get myself uh, right here, minus 12 dx, and I don't have 4 to 1. Do you see? These two cancel each other then. Okay, so it has to, like I said. Okay, so looking at here, I kind of canceled all the, uh, except this, I canceled everything. So then I go back and say that uh, basically e to the 3x times 2d, will be equal to minus 12 e to the 3x. So from here you get yourself t is equal to minus 6. So I, you get the d, d part, all right? So, so far so good. And let's write the same thing with x squared. Um, you know, see what I have. Let's look here, x squared, 9a, right? Plus x, let's see. So I get rid of this. Also, that's, we get rid of that. So I get minus 12a from here, so that's gone, plus 9b from down here, right? So that's fine. Plus what is left is what I have to write. So I have myself 2a over here, minus 6b over here, right? Don't forget to multiply by 6, plus 9c, right? This is the last time. That must be equal to the right-hand side, which was 6x squared plus 0x plus 2. Did you see what I did? So then this becomes 9a becomes 6. So from here I get myself a is equal to 2 by 3, right? Then I get myself minus 2a plus 9b is equal to 0. So a is 2 thirds, right? Plus 2 thirds. So if I do that for 8, yeah. I get myself b is equal to 8 by 9, positive, from the, 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 the constant, so 2 times a, so 2a is 4 by 3, minus 6 times 8 by 9, right, plus 9 times c is equal to 2. So let's see, um, so if I, so this becomes 3, this becomes 2, and let's write this 6 by 3, right, so we get ourselves 4 minus uh, 16 is uh, minus 12, move it to here as a plus, so it becomes 
18 by 3. So if I have 18 by 3, C becomes 2 by 3, right? That's what I get, 2 by 3. My YP turns out to be 2 by 3 x squared. I'm simply now inserting the values 2 by 8 by 9 x plus 2 by 3 minus 6 x squared e to the 3 x. I got these minus 3. Let me double check that so I don't make a mistake. A is so yep, yep, that'd be good. Uh, the YC as well, so in, it's incorporated that C1 e to the 3 x plus C2x e to the 3x plus 2 2 thirds x squared plus 8 by 9x plus 2 thirds minus 6x squared e to the 3x. So I can take some of the terms by uh, e, x per, e to the 3x parentheses so it looks more neat, right? Minus 6x squared plus C2x plus C1 plus the polynomial. I can't do much about it, so I have to rewrite that. Okay. So you can see that this was a fairly comprehensive uh, segment. Have a good day. I uh, will catch up with you soon. Take care.